and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Today I'm going to be doing my player predictions. I'm going to give you guys some out of position players, some ghosts of presence, past, and futures, and kind of go over who I think will get a card. I'm not going to do everyone as a remake of last year. I'm going to try to get some guys that I think are pretty surefire. Like you can expect most of these, if not at least some, if not most of these guys to be in there. Some guys who haven't gotten an upgrade, some guys who are known like out of position players, they, te they tend to repeat year in and year out because out of position obviously are based on players who have played other positions in certain times in football games. So that's kind of a given for those things. Now the present, pre the present, future, and past. I'm kind of go over cards who I think should be getting or players I should think should be getting cards. Now before we get into this video, thank you guys all my predictions. By the way, I will be taking you guys over to Mudhead at some point to show you guys last year's out of position, so you guys can have an idea of what we're working with. And but before we get into the video, remember it is the 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do is go down below to enter. You gotta go hit that subscribe button. Comment down below the secret word you'll be hearing at some point throughout this video, so stay tuned for that. And then all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below the secret word and your console that you play on. Now, I will probably be announcing the winners in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Now, like I said, all you gotta do is subscribe, comment the secret word, and like the video, and you're good to go. So now, let's get into this video. First things first, the OOPs. Now, I'm gonna take you guys over to Mudhead probably for this one. I'm gonna give you guys a few guys that I think, a few guys who got them last year, and the guys who typically get them. Now, let's head over to Mudhead real quick to show you guys some of those. So first, last year we got Tannehill, Jabril Peppers, Odell Beckham Jr., Deion Buchanan, Alejandro Villanueva, Shaq Thompson, Lamar Jackson, Byron Jones, Cordell Patterson, Julius Peppers, George Fant, Melvin Ingram, Taysom Hill, Anthony Barr, Kelsey, Chancellor, Walter Payton, Sean Taylor, Munoz, and Ronnie Lott. Now this was the first page, like the top guys. There's obviously some gold guys, but this is, the, this is the main page. Now, as you can see, guys like Lamar Jackson were playing halfback. Villanueva was playing tight end. Now, this Villanueva tight end, though, you, there's some use for these out of position cards. The Villanueva tight end has lineman level blocking at tight end, which is great for run plays. Odell at quarterback. Jabril Peppers at outside linebacker. And some of these cards are glitchy because he has the safety speed and hitting at, at linebacker. So that's always good. We got Taysom Hill at wide receiver now. So the guys I think, something I think could also get cards like these are. So I'm going to give you guys my predictions. And some guys will probably repeat. So I have Julio. Free safety is one guy that I can predict that we'll probably get. We usually get a Julio free safety and a Calvin free safety, but they gave us Calvin free safety with Mutt 10, so there is a chance we still get Julio as the free safety. Now, I think we might get another Odell Beckham Jr. quarterback. I believe he did do some quarterback plays for the Browns as well. So, he did it last year, did it this year. We got one last year. I can expect to get another Odell Beckham Jr. quarterback. Now, Vita Vey is a guy that's not on this list, but I think he might be getting one too. I did watch Vita Vey earlier this year. I don't know if he came out, if he was a fullback and he rushed it in or he caught it out of the backfield. All I know is that he was playing in the backfield. So, he could either get a fullback or a halfback card, maybe a tight end, depending on what they end up valuing his position as. I think Heath, um, what's called? Heath from the Cowboys could get a kicker card. He has played that before. Now, one that we usually get that we actually didn't see last year, I do not believe, is Big Ben Punter, Ben Roethlisberger. He has had some fake punts in his career, and they usually do put him as a card. We did not get one last year, but I can't expect us to get a Big Ben Punter again. He's usually pretty glitchy. He usually has good throw power on the punter spot. So pretty much around Christmas, you trust no one when it comes to punts because most people are rocking him. Cam Chancellor, again, at linebacker. We can see that possibly, but he is not really playing anymore. I, I could be wrong. Don't kill me, but I feel like Cam Chancellor is even he's not really playing anymore. Right? He retired. I think so I don't know if we'll end up seeing another one but it would be cool because we are used to seeing a cam chancellor type outside um, out of position card another one is Taysom Hill wide receiver again now we do have him at quarterback already this year but I can't expect a wide receiver card because Taysom Hill is one of the known out of position guys in the league that play quite a few positions so it really depends on what they do with that again now Jabril Peppers I can't expect that we see him again that, that definitely was a pretty cool card last year. Hopefully, we get a slightly upgraded version of him. Now, a new guy that we could be seeing this year is DeAndre Hopkins' quarterback. DeAndre Hopkins did throw a passing touchdown earlier this year. I remember watching that, so I know that he could possibly get one. He's definitely in line for a card in general, and a quarterback card would be pretty cool to have a DeAndre Hopkins version of him. They usually give quite a few out of position quarterbacks. Now, Lamar Jackson running back, I can see that again because... It was funny, I saw some tweet earlier that was like, people were like, he named some out of position players, and someone said Lamar Jackson halfback, and someone was like, they said out of position players, saying that Lamar's already halfback. So, I mean, since he already has that stigma, I think Madden probably will follow with that and still give Lamar Jackson a halfback card, which it will not go into his power up chain, guys, so do not worry, there'll be no implications. These are just typically fun cards you can throw in and play with around that. And Walter Payton QB, that is a staple. Out of position, out of position every year usually has a Walter Payton QB. He's always known to get some fast, speedy QB card, so that would be pretty cool. Russell Wilson at wide receiver we could see, and they really want to get funny with it from the Super Bowl. They could give us a Tom Brady wide receiver card. Now, those are kind of the out of position cards I think we can expect. Now, let's head on over 
to the ghost real quick to show you guys what the ghost looked like so i can show you what i think we'll be getting so ghost of madden there was quite a few there was the 96 of past there was the 95s presence there was the 93 94s futures they all depend on what they do now typically futures are one of two things they're either rookie cards that are doing really well or just they want to give us our rookie premier cards so typically a lot of our rookie premier cards get upgrades around this time so that's quite possible now i'm gonna take you guys back over to the madden screen once i show you guys these because i just want to give you guys a quick little overview of what we got we got quite a few last year like look at this there was a ton a ton all the way around so we can't expect that there's gonna be ltds there's gonna be regular cards so there's a lot to go over a lot of cards that i think actually might get them again just because of the uh position at which they play now in my opinion i really do like the ghost the ghost part of the program i think that's always a fun time now let's head over to madden i'm gonna show you guys some cards and who deserves upgrades and who I think. the secret word is snowman all you gotta do is go down below to enter this giveaway is comment down below snowman your console hit the subscribe button come join the family and like the video once you do those four things you're entered to win good luck all right so i'm going to start with my ghost of future players now goes to future we can expect like i said either rookies or rookie premieres which are the same things essentially but i just want to let get that out there that a lot of your rookie premieres probably will get upgrades so guys like lindstrom the um lineman for the falcons most likely will be getting an upgrade at that time because he's not really gotten upgrades this year now this is a wild card guys this is just me as a giants fan i think daniel jones has the potential to maybe get a ghost to future card and, and remember you guys these are not guys who are playing amazing there's plenty of guys last year like hayden hurst who got these that they don't have to be playing amazing but they are potential uh, full of potential rookies so daniel jones potentially get one he only has his team of the week card now another guy i have is josh allen which would be the uh the what's it called the pass rusher i forgot if he went to the, did he go to he went to jacksonville right josh allen that could be a very solid one now quentin williams for the jets is another guy that i could potentially see getting an upgrade for the future He's on the, he was a top pick for the Jets, and he has been playing pretty decently from what I've seen. So I think he'll probably get one. He has tons of potential. Nick Bosa could potentially get a Ghost of Future card. He definitely deserves one. Maybe he'll get the LTD one, because last year they gave it to Baker. And then also Josh Jacobs has not really gotten many upgrades this year, and he has been playing very well. So I think they might be saving him for Ghost of Future. Now let's go into the present, which is where I want to show you guys the auction block, show you guys some of these cards. So first one that I think could be getting a Ghost of Present card would be Jair Alexander. He currently has a Pro Bowl bid, and he's been playing out of his mind. And I think he could really get one. And also, he gave me a game-worn glove at the game last week. He tossed it right up to me. So, you know, I kind of have to uh, support my boy now. I'm now honorarily a Jair Alexander fan. He only has this 88 football outsider, and he's been one of the best cornerbacks in the league. So I could easily see him getting a card. Next, another guy that gave me some game-worn equipment right here. So I got to also pay some tribute to him. Not to mention, he definitely deserves a card. I spelled his name wrong. I know I did. I always spell his name wrong. Devontae Adams. I think he's in line for a card. He's one of the best receivers in the league, and he only has a signature Siri card. And this card is way outplayed and way underrated. I mean, way overrated. Like, it, was, it wasn't good even when they dropped it. So I think that he definitely could be in line for a card. He's definitely underrated in terms of Madden. He needs to give him more cards. He could definitely be getting one. Next, that I think we'll be getting a card. A guy that only has his Team of the Week card also. He's, he's one of the best receivers in the league. Julio Jones, definitely in line for a card. He only has his 90 Team of the Week. He got one last year too as well, so I definitely could see him getting one. His next card probably pretty beastly, probably like 91, 92 speed, all above 90 route running, all above 90 catch. He's going to be one of the best receivers in the game with great height. And does he have after the catch moves? I know in real life he does, but do they give it to him here? He does not. He has a decent juke. He'll probably get closer to a 90 juke with his next card. Now, this guy, I have to imagine they're saving him for Christmas. Whether or not he'll be like a top present, but this guy is going off in real life. McCaffrey has to get a card. He only has this nasty signature series card that definitely needs an upgrade. I think he can either get a ghost of present or he will get a LTD ghost of present or he'll be one of these secret presents. Now, his next card is going to probably have like a 92 speed, going to have like a 90 break tackle. He should at least be close, maybe like a 90 catch. He definitely deserves a close to 90 catching. This card could be definitely one of the most beastly versatile cards when it does drop. Kind of hype for that. Crazy Excel because he has been known to accelerate really fast this year. And just he has, that, he has great top line speed this year too. So he definitely deserves to be there. Now the final guy for the presence that I think can either be a ghost of present or an LTD or a secret present is Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes has to be getting a card. It, it's kind of absurd that he doesn't have another card at this point. Probably the best quarterback in the league. And if, and if not the best, at least tied for one of the best. He only has a superstar card. His next card should have above 80 speed. All above 90 throwing stats, all above 90 throwing a pressure, throwing a run, and way above 90 throw power. Probably gonna have like a 95 throw power. The next card is going to be godlike. I'm super excited. Hopefully, he can get Dash and Dead Eye, and hopefully, he can also get Escape Arts. If he can get all those things, he's going to be probably the best quarterback in the game. He definitely has to get a card, so I have to imagine they didn't give him for Blitz, so they have to be saving him for this. Now, Ghost of uh, Past. 
This one's a little bit trickier because obviously there's so many guys you could go from. I'm going with Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen was, I have to pay tribute to him too. He was one of the best running backs to start the year. He was glitchy. Marcus Allen only has his 88 overall card whenever I can find it. Of course, I'm like, oh, there we go. 89 overall card. I think he'll get a ghost to pass. It's going to be really, really glitchy, just like it was early in the year. I think he's definitely in line for a card, specifically because he hasn't gotten an upgrade all year. Another guy who can get one, I believe, is Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. He usually gets a wide receiver card, so I'm going to throw him into out of position, by the way, to mention that to you guys. He's some, that's what I was saving him for. He's either going to be a wide receiver, or they're going to give him one of these cards. Probably more likely a wide receiver, but I would also love to see a Deion Sanders card. He only has this 92, so he, I could see him getting like a 95, 96 ghost of pass, but more than likely he might get a wide receiver, but I'm just tossing him in there. And then a guy that got one last year, I think he could really use an upgrade as well as probably will get one, is Randy Moss. He'll probably end up getting like an LTD Christmas Ghost of the Future card. I could definitely see that. His next card's going to be insane. He's gonna have like a 94 speed with all above 90 catching, all above 90 route running. Decent juke, decent spin, really tall. Gonna be a great jump ball receiver, probably gonna be glitchy as hell. And to pretty much wrap it all up, who else I could see in here is that it's tough because they, afterwards we're gonna have the Super Bowl promo and stuff coming up shortly after probably within the next month after that the playoff promo so I they could be saving Jerry Rice and guys like that for Super Bowl promos like a lot of times guys who are big legends that had a lot of big Super Bowl performances they don't put them in this promo they'll save them for like the Super Bowl promo so I want to say like guys like Jerry Rice will be getting car, but I don't know if he will time will tell guys that pretty much wraps up this video hope you guys did enjoy hope these predictions help you guys on who you want to invest in who you guys can at least expect because especially if you're new to mutt you probably don't know what to expect for this so I hope this helps you guys out that is about it make sure to go down below comment down below the secret word that you guys did hear at some point throughout this video if you did not hear it go back and find it and then to enter to one all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel comment the word comment your console and give this video a thumbs up once you do all those things you're entered to win make sure you check out every video today to see who won and also to enter four times or three times depending on the time of the post. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.